Batter up, sports card fans. Happy Flagship Friday. Check out what we got. We got a blaster box. No more hobby boxes for this channel. For now, for now, calm down. If we, uh, if we get some deals, we'll get some hobby boxes. But I'm mostly interested in one thing, and that is seeing right here, what are we looking at for base short print? One in 50 packs, okay? So we were uh, at a pretty good clip with hobby boxes and jumbo boxes. We were getting a short print or a home field advantage card in every single box for, of hobby, whether it was jumbo or just regular hobby. So I don't know if we're gonna be that lucky. It looks like we got two thick boys here. I'm assuming this is the relic. This feels, this feels like there's a hundred cards in here. <laughs> So that's interesting. Let's see what those what those are. Um, let's address the elephant in the room as my camera shakes violently right now. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Okay, a little bit better. Um, let's uh, address the elephant in the room. Didn't go live last weekend. Uh, got very little footage. Um, so I will tell you about it, and I will tell you that I will share... Hi -o! right off the bat, great card. So now we have both Series 1 and Series 2 of this card. As you know, I collect that set. I'm going to want that card as a PSA 10. Here's hoping corners look great. This one's a little, got a little extra, but it doesn't look like it's, it's uh, injured in any way. I'm excited to see the next round of these uh, as well. So that's really cool. So... I will say that I will post some videos on Instagram so and, and Twitter. Uh, so head on over there, at GW's Collects. I'll put that up uh, at the end of the video as well. But um, I worked a behind the scenes at an autograph signing in Cooperstown for David Ortiz's induction weekend. And it was incredible. It was a ton of work. Uh, I got to meet a bunch of the nice, we get the J.D. Martinez. I got to meet a ton of Hall of Famers, um, and it was a lot of work. <laughs> so I was, um, if you happen to be in Cooperstown this past weekend, and you bought tickets to an autograph signing, it's very possible that you bought the tickets from me. If this voice sounds familiar, that's why. Um... Yes, we're getting a red foil out of this one. So we'll hold off on that pack just for a second. Um, someone once said that they hate when people do that. Leave a comment down below. Do you hate when people do that for suspense? You know, I know that there's a red foil coming up. So let's leave it, leave it for suspense. Or like I, when I'm watching videos, I love that because you don't want to end the, the video on a, on a dud pack. Um, so leave your comment be down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Jonathan India, Future is Now, and a George Springer, stars of the MLB. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it was an extreme amount of work, but it was awesome. Um, great time, was very thankful to be invited to that. Hopefully I'm invited back at some point. Hopefully I did an okay job. Um, but basically, it was just not an opportunity to go live or post videos. They didn't want uh, anything really kind of getting out there but I did get some awesome footage of some of the items that were signed. Um, so that's really cool. We're gonna get the retail blue in this. I won't wait on that. It's the Yordan. And we got a backwards card here out of 299 DeGrom All-Star Gray. Is this supposed to be black? Is that supposed to be the black one? 299 is usually the black parallel. And this one's very gray. So there we go, that's not bad though. John Flaherty. So, so far, great blaster box here. Um, obviously, we want O'Neill Cruz. Um, so, let's uh, let's go with this one here and see what the extra thickness to this is. And then we'll hit up that red pack. Let's see. I don't see anything overtly. I see a die cut. That's all I see right so far. 
Um, but it was an incredible time. I got to go to David Ortiz's induction ceremony, which was awesome. Ichiro, speaking of future Hall of Famers, uh, Ozzy Albies. So nothing in this one. It just seemed very, very thick. Jansen Junk. Um, so I will post what I got on Instagram so you guys can see that. This is obviously going to be the relic. Um, but boy, oh boy, it feels, wow, it is so super thick holy moly jeez is that what they all are oh my goodness all right all right garcia colton welker bueller woodruff shane boz there we go there's a decent one dylan moore Barnhard, Patino, McKenzie, Hader, Bomb. We got a home run challenge. And commemorative batting helmet. Oh, that's why it's so thick. It doesn't need to be that thick. This right here is... Yeah. That is unnecessary. <laughs> But I guess it, it's for kids, right? It's so kids can be like, oh, I got a batting helmet. That's cool. All right, so now I'm happy I saved the two ninety nine because or the red foil because imagine, you know, hanging on to that as, as our end. That's our end card. And that's no good. Uh, Packy, Cole Tucker. I don't think we're getting an O'Neill Cruz, at least for base. But what about... What about that red card there? We get the Aussie Albies Chrome and a JT Real Mudo. And let's take a look at what we got here. Do we get a Pirates logo? We get a Phillies. We get Andrew McCutcheon. Still looks beautiful. That one actually looks like the orange one. No, it's the red one. $2.99. Unless that's actually orange. But still nice. So we get two numbered cards and we get a Wander. And it looks crisp, looks very crisp. This corner, not a problem. Already took off that corner. Look at that, beauty. That might be just be a PSA 10 right there, ladies and germs. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in. Happy Flagship Friday. Like I said, I'll have some more uh, footage. Maybe I'll, uh, who knows, maybe I'll go live or something like that. And after the fact, and I can talk about it if anyone has any questions. Maybe that's how we'll do it, but we'll share some uh, some video footage, share some of the awesome autographs, and I am going to have some high-end uh, autograph to showcase um, so I can show you guys what I got while I was there. So um, very, very excited to share that with you guys. It was a hopefully not a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but it was pretty great to be able to uh, meet David Ortiz Hall of Fame weekend uh, the day after he's become a hall of famer that was really really cool and he called me poppy no big deal but you know i have that for the rest of my life <laughs> so i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend thank you so much for your patience uh and understanding as i worked my tail off in cooperstown last weekend so make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel click the little bell icon so you stay notified every time we post a video and then leave a comment down below on your thoughts on the Hall of Fame ceremony. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite card was out of here. And that question I had earlier about uh, holding off on the pack. See, I think it's a lot nicer to end with that card than that card. Just my opinion. Uh, head on over to Instagram and Twitter at GDubs Collects. I appreciate the follow, the love, the understanding, the passion. I, I appreciate it, guys. Keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting. <laughs>